Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host, Sean. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not going to ask for a like for this video. I'm not going to ask for a subscribe or to sign up for it via the links purely because this is a sad video. And it talks about the dangers of investing, the dangers. We all like the ease of the free trading apps and free trading platforms and I hope this doesn't make trading apps more difficult for most of us however this might make might make them bring in regulations and in the UK Trading options isn't as easy as it is in America. Yeah. However, Robin Hood was due to come over to the UK and it was halted for a reason. And <clears throat> I have a feeling. It will take even longer now because of what's happened recently. I'm sure you've heard. 20 year old Robin Hood customer dies by suicide after seeing a 730,000 negative balance. He was trading options on Bank of America. Robin Hood app went down. And as it does from time to time. And when it goes up again sees a negative balance and rather than contact them, rather than so yeah rather than try and give time to try and get his head round it he does something which is so sad no, no one likes to see this <clears throat> uh, I've always warned about staying away from options and CFDs unless you're experienced and I have 30 years experience and the only op way I use options is to see how the market is going and to predict how the shares are going I do not touch options even though it will sometimes be cheaper for me and I do not touch CFDs. The thing is, they shouldn't allow someone of 22 be trading options, especially, at the, and they shouldn't be doing this like. We've heard about some of these mistakes before, like where they accused where someone should have been making a profit on the oil options, oil options, and they've accused him of owing nine million dollars. Now they during this when would have been the time they could have really got a great name for themselves and don't get me wrong a lot of people are using their platform a lot more people are using their platform but I can see after this is all over that their PR nightmare you're getting a lot of mistakes and you're getting a lot of people affected by it so I can see people changing to companies like Weevil or even going back to the paid brokerage thinking well, if you're gonna make mistakes like this what's the point in using a free brokerage so, you know how like a me me I've seen this come up Now, 
thing is, I think we should all send our condolences to at this time. I know plenty of people have died during this time to go due to COVID-19, but this is a death that could have been avoided. And I understand he took his own life, but it's, it's because he was pushed into it. It's also a warning sign to everyone else to not play, not to leverage money, not to play with money you do not have. And I just hope everyone will share with me in sending their thoughts and prayers to the family. Goodbye, I'll see you in the next video.